Pre-Calculus Spring 2015 ACP Study Guide, Problem 39. This begins a set of parametric equation problems, and I think this one is probably the most difficult of the types of problems. And the reason I say so is that we're given an equation, 4x plus 5y equals 5. This is an equation in rectangular form with x and y, but standard form as opposed to the slope-intercept form. Let's go ahead and take this equation, 4x plus 5y equals 5, and we're going to convert this into, into uh, slope-intercept form by first subtracting 4x from both sides of the equation, subtract our x term, those cancel, and so you have 5y equals 5 minus 4x. And then if we divide by 5, we have solved and created or have our, that's going to become 1, 5 over 5. So y equals 1 minus 4 fifths x. Now when we graph this equation here in slope-intercept form and then graph these parametric pairs of parametric equations, we're going to see which one matches. But we can do that with, without going through this method. And if we take... Um, say one of these equations, uh, let's say D, and we'll, we'll start with C. If we take the equation, I'm going to change the color here, and we have, let's say X equals negative 5 fourths T, and we want to solve for T to plug into this second equation here. We multiply by, by negative 4 fifths. When we multiply by negative 4 fifths, we get negative 4 fifths x equals t. And so replacing t in this equation here, we have uh, bringing below one, y equals 1 minus negative 4 fifths t. And you see this is going to end up being 1 plus four-fifths t. And so, um, I, sh I said t, should have said x. Four-fifths x equals one plus four-fifths x, which does not match this one up here. So this is not our correct answer. Let's go on to, to answer choice d. If we take, in this case, x equals negative 5 fourths t and we want to go ahead and and solve for t same thing we did earlier by multiplying by negative 4 fifths we end up with negative 4 fifths x equals t now we can replace t with negative 4 fifths x, so we end up with, with y equals 1 minus 4 fifths x, which does match, does in fact match this problem. So d is going to be our correct answer. And again, in our calculator, we can say, we can graph it like this. Let's go to a add graph, and we put in y equals 1 minus control thing we have 4 over 5x and this is what that equation looks like so a negative slope here x and y intercepts both of 1 and then we can go to our parametric equation form and to do that I'm going to get another page we'll put control i and we add graphs and we go to menu, window, let's see, window graph entry edit three, param three graph parametric. In this case, we have x equals. We're going to go to choice choice D, and x is equals negative five fourths t, and y equals one plus t. Okay, so negative. 5 fourths t, 
T. And down here for the Y, we put 1 plus T. Now, sometimes we have our, our steps from 0 to 2 pi. That can mess us up, but hopeful, I hope we'll see enough to, to know we have the same equation. Yeah, we see so far as it goes the same equation, don't we? This y-intercept, if we extended, we'd see we'd have the same. Uh, we had earlier, I'm going to go back to that earlier graph. See that? So that verifies that D is our correct answer. Really kind of a, a tough problem, but one that should be doable with with the basic algebra skills combined with your understanding of parametric equations. Good luck. Look at your companion problem 40, which is very much like this one. And thanks for viewing.